This video is going to cover the topic of dividing fractions. We'll put the date at the top and the topic. We'll call this topic dividing fractions part three, since we've seen a couple other videos already covering dividing fractions. The essential question for this dividing fraction video will be how do we divide a fraction by a fraction? We've divided a whole number by a fraction, We've divided a fraction by a whole number. This video, we're going to see what happens when the dividend and divisor are both fractions. For example, what is 3 fourths divided by 1 fourth? So here we have our dividend of 3 fourths, and we're trying to see how many groups of 1 fourth there are in 3 fourths. As always, I'm going to start with the model. Right? We're going to divide this model first into fourths because our dividend is three fourths. So here we have the three fourths that we're trying to break up. I'm trying to see how many one fourths there are in three fourths. This one probably seems pretty intuitive because I see here's a fourth, and here's a fourth, and here's a fourth, right? Those are fourths. So I can see pretty quickly that there are three of the one-fourths in my three-fourths. So my number sentence should read that three-fourths divided by one-fourth is three. What if we have one that's not as intuitive? Let's try that. Suppose I have one-half of a yard of ribbon, and I need one-sixth of a yard to make a hair tie to give to my friends as a gift. My question would be, how many hair ties can I make with the amount of ribbon that I have? First, let me figure out what my number sentence would be. I'm trying to figure out how many groups of one-sixth there are in one-half. That means one-half is my dividend, and I'm trying to look at groups of one-sixth. I'm trying to divide it into one-sixth. So that is my divisor. I want to do one half divided by one sixth. Let's take a look at it. Here I have my whole, and that would represent a whole yard, but I only have half of a yard to start. Right? I'm not starting with a whole yard, I'm starting with half of my yard, so I've shaded in half. I want to see how many sixths there are in that one half. If I cut it again in the same direction, but this time in sixths, I'll be able to see how many sixths there are in this half. And I see there's one, two, three sixths. So one half divided by one sixth is three. Just like in our previous video, part two, I'm still looking for connections that I can use to try to make a strategy that will make this a bit simpler. And when I look at this, I kind of see that there were six parts here. And I really was trying to find half of the six parts. And of course we know to do that. We would do this and then simplify that to three, right? So there's a connection there between the multiplication and the division of fractions. We're going to explore that connection in class and in our next video. For this video, remember that our essential question was how do we divide a fraction by a fraction? It was our third of three types of dividing fraction videos.